When we face a crisis of any sort, fear and anxiety are inevitable. They are normal natural responses to any challenging situation infused with danger and uncertainty. Face COVID is a set of practical steps for dealing with such situations. F is for focus on what's in your control. You can't control what happens in the future. You can't control coronavirus itself or the world economy or what other people do. And you can't magically control your thoughts and feelings. Fear, anxiety and worry are inevitable. But you can control what you do here and now. So let's focus on that. A is for acknowledge your thoughts and feelings. Silently and kindly acknowledge whatever is showing up inside you. Thoughts, feelings, emotions, memories, sensations, urges. With curiosity, notice what's going on in your inner world. You might say to yourself, I am noticing feelings of anxiety. Or I am having thoughts about getting sick. Or I am having feelings of loneliness. And as you continue acknowledging your thoughts and feelings, bring in the next step, which is C. Come back into your body. Find your own way of connecting with your physical body. For example, you might try slowly pressing your feet hard into the floor, or slowly pressing your fingertips together, slowly stretching your arms or your neck or shrugging your shoulders, or slowly breathing. And as you acknowledge your thoughts and feelings and come back into your body, you then move to E, which is for engage in what you're doing. Get a sense of where you are here and now and refocus your attention on the activity at hand. Notice five things you can see, five things you can hear. Notice what you can touch and taste and smell. Notice what you are doing and give your full attention to that activity. And then C is for committed action. This means effective action guided by your core values. Action you take because it's important to you, even if it brings up difficult thoughts and feelings. Of course, this includes following official guidelines on what to do during this crisis. But in addition, ask yourself regularly, what can I do right now, no matter how small it may be, that improves life for myself or others I live with or people in my community? And whatever the answer is, do it and engage in it fully. O is for opening up. This means making room for difficult feelings and being kind to yourself. As this crisis unfolds, we'll all feel fear, anxiety, anger, sadness, guilt, loneliness, and so on. We can't stop these painful feelings from arising, but we can open up and make room for them, acknowledge they are normal, allow them to be there even though they hurt, and treat ourselves kindly. Consider what are kind words you can say to yourself, and kind things you can do for yourself, to help you cope with this suffering. V is for values. Committed action should be guided by your core values. What do you want to stand for in the face of this crisis? What sort of person do you want to be as you go through this? How do you want to treat yourself and others? Your values might include love, respect, humor, patience, courage, honesty, caring, openness, kindness, compassion, or numerous others. Look for ways to sprinkle your values into your day and let them guide and motivate your actions. I is for identify resources. Identify resources for help, assistance, support, and advice. This includes friends, family, neighbors, health professionals, and emergency services. Make sure you know the emergency helpline phone numbers, including those for psychological help if required. D is for disinfect and distance. 
remember to disinfect regularly and practice physical distancing for the greater good of your community. Please run through the steps of face COVID as often as you can for the benefit of yourself, your loved ones, and all the people in your community.